G'day there everyone, Uncle Jojo here. Great to see you all again. So today I have come through with the goods and I found a property that is just being prepped for a raft slab or waffle slab. Um, all the plumbing's been run for it. How about we go for a walk and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So come with me and ch -ch 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 check it out. You can see here we've got four meters, which means there's gonna be four units on here. And we've got all of, we've got all of these pipes and everything already all run through. Um, and then there's this pile of stones just to the right hand side. Uh, that is just gonna get laid out over the entire site. Then that'll get compacted. Um, plastic will be laid down. In a nutshell, you've obviously seen my past video, um, what goes into cutting in a site when we're doing an actual conventional slab or an old school standard slab. Whereas this is just gonna be a waffle slab and we can see that that just sits on the ground. Now there's only a very slight gradient. I did talk about recently about the gradients, but that still, if, that's, if the site is not prepared properly, that still will allow moisture to get under that slab and the sides of those slabs can go upwards and it can pop all of the plaster and everything off. Since I've started putting up these videos, I'm getting a lot of feedback about how bad the waffle slabs are. There was another, I read another report recently of a waffle slab that was done up in Queensland. The house was deemed inhabitable and the people had to move out and are fighting the case through court just to make sure that they're able to get their money back and actually have a house that's worth the, the good money that they paid for. Um, thanks for watching. Any questions or queries, flick them over. Until then, stay in real banana peel and I'll see you in the soup.